Hi everyone, it's Jessica with Starkweather Association Services, your partner in solving membership management problems. Have you ever noticed that after your association has a big event, there's suddenly more duplicate records and non-members in your database? And you might notice looking at the registrations that some of them are linked to the right member record, but some of them are not. And the last thing you want to do after a big event is deal with data cleanup. This is the time for you to be engaging new members and nurturing prospects. But with your data in poor shape, it's hard to know who you should be contacting, especially when members like Sarah D are showing up as non-members. This can quickly turn into a data nightmare. How did this even happen? Well, if you use this event registration module in YM, as we're looking at right here, there's a setting that you want to be particularly aware of. When you're editing a, your event, it's under the registration tab and it's called automatically link registrants to a member non-member record. This setting will actually do two different tasks for you. It may not be 100% clear what those are. So today I'm going to go through them in detail so you can make an informed decision about whether this setting works for you, or maybe it's better to not use it. The first task is exactly as the name implies, it will link a registration to a member or non-member record. So here's how it works. Let's say that a user goes online to register for your event and they are not signed in. They type in their name and email address and they submit their registration. The database is going to search for a record that matches exactly with that name and email address. And if it finds an exact match, then it will link it up to the member record. And we can take a look now and see that it should be linked to this existing profile. Yes, perfect. The benefit here is that even if the user is not signed in, if perhaps they've forgotten their credentials, you as the admin can still see this transaction on their profile along with all of their other transactions. And that means too that the member will see it on their profile the next time they log in on their profile view. They'll be able to see it with all their transactions. This gives everybody a clear picture of the member's engagement and their history. It means that later on, you don't have to worry about going back and tying registrations to member records because it happens automatically. So this can be a really great thing. But like I said, it has to be an exact match. If I were to go back to this form and submit it again, but maybe this time, instead of putting my full name, I just put in Jess. Well, there's no Jess in the database it's under Jessica. So if I were to submit this, it's not going to link up to anything. Instead, what it's going to do is create a new non-member record. Let's take a look at this. Yes, yeah, so now we have a new non-member record. The benefit here is that if you have non-members who attend multiple events, then you'll be able to track that all on the same profile. And you can use that data to see who might make a good prospect, who you might want to follow up with. But again, this setting works best when registrants consistently register under the same exact name and email address. If someone were to use their work email address one day, but then they use a personal email address for the next event registration, the system is going to see them as two separate records. Therefore, it's important to know that this setting right here could actually result in more work for your staff having to clean up duplicate records that may not have been matched up, even though they might actually be the same person. Before using this setting, it's important to consider your business processes and how to best integrate them with the technology's features. Here are some questions you might wanna ask yourself to determine if this will work for you or not. How much help do your members need in order to access their account and recover their sign-in credentials? 
Do many of your members go by nicknames or short forms of their name? Do they tend to use multiple email addresses? Do you have a lot of non-members who repeatedly transact through events and store purchases? How much time does your staff have to spend reviewing and cleaning up duplicate records? Are they already spending a lot of time doing that? Do they have some extra time if they need to do that? If the majority of your members are already used to signing in and registering for events and completing other tasks on your website, then using this setting could help them in the off chance that they forget to log in. It can also be a reliable way to track non-members. The more your members sign in, the lower your risk of this setting causing you to have duplicates to clean up. But if the majority of your members do not sign into their accounts and they tend to use variations of their names or different email addresses, then this setting is more likely to create duplicate records for you. Now, of course, there's ways to communicate and encourage members to use the same information every time, but of course, there's no way to enforce it if they're not signing in. All that said, you may end up with duplicates that can take some time to go through and clean up. But what happens if you turn this setting off? Well, if you turn it off and people register for the event, they're going to look like these records where they're not tied to anybody at all. So if they're actual members, then you would have to go in and manually link them up. So it's not required to do that, but again, linking it up is required in order for the member to see it on their profile and for you to be able to see it on their profile. In the end, either way, there's likely to be some administrative work involved. Which cleanup task is going to be easier for you? That's the question that might be the determining factor of whether you use this setting here or not. Keep in mind that at the end of the day, no AMS is going to fit perfectly with all of your association's needs. But if you take time to reflect on your processes, you can configure the technology in a way that integrates well with your daily tasks. Before hopping around from AMS to AMS, trying to find the perfect match, how can we help you integrate the technology that you already have? Here at Starkweather, we are experts in creating event registration business model flows that work best for your association. We provide advanced support by going beyond the general response and asking in-depth questions like I have today so that we can understand what matters most. Most of us here have worked on the Your Membership platform for over a decade, so our knowledge can really help you make decisions about what's going to be the best fit for you. Partnering with Starkweather allows you to work with a team that helps associations every day figure out their business needs and technology and how they fit together to maximize revenue and member experience. So if that sounds like an experience you are ready to have, come visit us online at starkweather.us and get started today. We are here to help you solve your membership management problems. Until next time, folks. Have a great one and good luck with your event registrations.